second jury started hearing testimony today to determine how much money conspiracy theorist Alex Jones will have to pay the families of eight Sandy Hook victims and an FBI agent who responded to the mass shooting. And it comes about a month after a jury in Texas ordered Jones to pay close to $50 million to another victim's parents. Now, News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter has a wrap of day one from the courthouse. This trial is at Waterbury Superior Court, about 20 miles from where those 20 first graders and six educators were killed in Newtown. More than a dozen family members were here for opening statements and the first day of evidence. Alex Jones was not, but that wasn't a surprise. Though Alex Jones wasn't physically in the courtroom, attorney Chris Mate played clips from his shows for the jury, calling Jones a bully who repeatedly preyed on grieving Sandy Hook families by spreading lies the shooting was a hoax, the victims didn't exist, and their families were actors. Hold out Alex Jones accountable for what he did in the minutes, the hours, the days, the months, and the years after the worst thing that ever happened to this community. Jones has already been found liable for defamation, inflicting emotional distress, and violations of the state's fair trade practices law. At issue is how much he'll pay. Matei said Jones got rich off his lies while the plaintiffs endured harassment and threats from his followers. He asked the jury to return a verdict that will send a message. But attorney Norm Pattis countered in his opening that any award should be minimal. Pattis claimed the families were exaggerating the harm Jones caused them. We're not here to make political statements, to reform the world, to take a stand against extreme speech. This trial is not a cultural moment. The first person to take the stand was plaintiff Bill Aldenberg, who was part of the FBI SWAT team at the school December 14, 2012. Aldenberg broke down as he described the day. Was what you saw in that school fake? No, no. <laughs> No, sir. Was it synthetic? No, sir. No, sir. See any actors that day, Bill? No, no. Aldenberg testified he received violent threats from followers of Jones who claimed Aldenberg wasn't a real FBI agent, but an no, actor, was... also pretending to be the father of one of the victims. This whole thing is messed up. It won't. This whole, I mean, this is 10 years of, this is just awful. This, this is awful. This trial is expected to last about a month and include testimony from family members and Alex Jones. We're told Jones will likely take the stand next week. In Waterbury, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut.